Dreams was first revealed over seven years ago, but now, thanks to an early access release of its creator tools, it's in the hands of the general gaming public. Despite being dubbed a sandbox game, it's much more. From modeling to coding, sound design to lighting, Dreams allows you to bring to life the creation you've always dreamed of. This early access phase is not the final game, and the developers Media Molecule have said that they'll be listening to all our feedback to help shape Dreams for its full release at the end of the year. So at the moment, there's constantly new features and improvements being implemented. But Dreams is not just for the game developer within. You can also explore other people's dreams through dream surfing. Content creators across the globe have got to work pulling their ideas into the digital world. And there's countless creations to dive into from a wide variety of genres. Action, puzzlers, platformers and time trials. There's so much to uncover. And along with game ideas, some dreamers are just making art. From sweeping digital paintings to twisting psychedelic geometry and even the construction of digital locations and sets. These creations even have realistic lighting and sound design that could give some AAA games a run for their money. And with so many possible dreams to discover, choosing just one might feel a little overwhelming. Luckily, there's a mode to simplify the experience. Rather than searching through countless creations, dream hopping strings together a never-ending playlist of user-generated levels. You'll be bouncing from a sprawling alien landscape to a 3D recreation of Cuphead to a lovely indie experience, all within seconds. It's so inspiring seeing what brilliant minds can achieve. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit intimidated. I mean, I have all the tools to make something like this. Good luck me. I found it really helpful to look at some of the winning entries from the Community Jam events. There lies some tasty morsels. The Community Jam establishes a theme that Dreamweavers must center their creation around, with the most liked dreams permanently hosted in the Hall of Fame. With three entries in each category, there's a wealth of talent on display. Now it's hard to criticize the quality of others' dreams if we've not made any ourselves, and the game gives us all the tools for the job. You can either kick off with a preset level from the developers or start fresh, jumping into sculpting mode, laying down the terrain, building up some detail, giving it a lick of paint, maybe even adding some movement through the preset library of gadgets. You can then drop in a preset puppet character and wander through the monstrosity you've created. And in my case, it was always a monstrosity. Yeah, I found it all a bit, how shall I put this, a tricky. If you're wanting to make anything from scratch, it's all about chiseling away at what is basically a big block of clay. And I struggled to get the fine control I wanted. I was using the PlayStation Move controllers, and for me, they were a little unresponsive, especially when attempting to move the camera. I'd kind of just waggle them in front of me until something happened that I vaguely wanted. There is also the option of using the standard controller, but I have to agree, it's pretty unintuitive either way, as is most of the dream shaping. There's hours of tutorials breaking down every step of coding and crafting, which is a great tool for those looking to make the most of dreams. But this is a game you'll need to invest plenty of time into. And I'm just not sure if it's the dream creating life for me. Yeah, uh, nothing has really clicked in place for me, though I did try and dabble with the additional modes. I tried my best to jump into the gameplay coding aspects, and despite my best efforts, it never really turned out. There is just so much in this that despite spending hours with it, I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface. It all might be a little too daunting for most gamers, having to sit through hours of tutorials to learn how to move a block. But it is kind of worth it just to see what you can accomplish. Look, I found it hard enough sculpting anything out of a cube, let alone breathing life into it. And I know, I know, watch the tutorials, Gem, I know. If I had the patience, there's even a coding system using basic preset logic panels. You can also score your scene with music using built-in instruments and beats. There's even the ability to frame by frame animate a scene. It's super overwhelming. Yeah, that's why we chose to focus on sculpting something for a little bit of a GGSP challenge. Rad, how'd you go? Behold, artwork by Rad. I tried to make my beautiful dog boat meal, but instead it turned out a bit more like boat meal if he was made out of ice cream. Badly. What about you, Jem? What did you bring to the table? Well, do you remember this handsome fellow right here? I tried to make him, except it looked more like he'd been struck by lightning. Will? Well, I tried to make Darren, sculpting him from scratch, I gave him a paint job and even got him moving, albeit in an unintentional spinning fashion. I think he turned out pretty well.
But after hours of crafting and chaos, how are we feeling about Dreams in its early access form? Well, because it's not the full finished version, I don't think it's fair to score it. But I will say that there's stacks to learn and it does show promise. Yeah, I've been following this mammoth concept for quite some time and having finally got my hands on it, I'm not sure. Whilst it's great to see the incredible creations the community has already put on show, I fear actually making something of my own would be a never-ending pipe dream. Outside of the immense amount of time needed to hone my skills, I just found the motion controls unresponsive and a little frustrating. I'll be keeping a close eye on dreams, but for now, it's certainly a wait and see. Yeah, I feel the same. It is difficult to learn and hard to master. Something that will require proper devotion to really make the most of what's on offer. But I am interested to see what it'll look like when it's finally released. Now, speaking of dreams, here's how I go to sleep. Come here.